man, I'm right back up on you. As promised, you know what I'm talking about. I'm coming to give you some more, a little bit of some more of the baby cuz. Black history, you know what I'm talking about. Mama say brush them whiskers. You know what I'm talking about. Man, what's good with the people? Why y'all doing now? Y'all already know my, uh, already did my shout outs and stuff, man. You know what I'm talking about. I don't promote nothing. No crime, no, uh, violence, no domestic violence. You know what I'm talking about. No drug users, no drug seller chain. You know what I'm talking about. No alcohol consumption. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man. Don't take a sip of the sippage. I ain't prejudiced. Shout out to penitentiaries around the world, man. All my folks, man. You know what I'm talking about. Everybody that's incarcerated, everybody who ain't, man. Everybody on top of that thing, everybody on the bottom of that thing, man. You know what I'm talking about. Keep that head up. Keep pushing. We're going to get through it to get to it. My big old partner said, like, he, he, ha, ha, and Ken in the pen. You know what I'm talking about. Go get them books. Uh, the, uh, hold on, man. Go get them books. <sighs> the stick ups. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Make sure you go get you a hardback. You know what I'm talking about. I see a hardback look like this one. This is the paperback. That's the hardback. You see the difference? Go get you a hardback, man. You know what I'm talking about? All so up in there, man. Funk or die trying, man. You know what I'm talking about? Go get you some. But shout outs to everybody, man. Uh, just to all the penitentiaries. And Dugu, Mike, you know what I'm talking about? Cutthroat, Lil Rue. Not Lil Rue. Lil Rue. Ta Ta, the player that comes next, man. This is all my folks, bro. Shout out to everybody out there, man, around the world, man, you know what I'm talking about, worldwide, INC, man, come on with it, bro, worldwide, incorporated, man, come on with it, bro, Ooh, worldwide, man, swing that finger, gentlemen, but yeah, man, I'm up here today, I'm finna give you some old school, uh, some of Baby Cuz Black History, I told you, I'm gonna tell you the, uh, the Black History from Baby Cuz, uh, hey, you know what I'm talking about, man, damn, y'all, hold on, yeah, the history from Baby Cuz eyes, man. I'm going back in my days, man. Give you black history, Baby Cuz, away from Baby Cuz eyes. You know what I'm talking about, man. I say, uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to get into this black history. Man, I don't even know what I'm going to call this one, man. I'm just going to call this one. I don't know. I'll find a name for it. It's going to be some kind of shout out, man, because I'm going to give it up for the ones who, uh, Y'all don't remember this one right here, man. Uh, shout out everybody who breast smell good, but they ass thing. <laughs> one for two. <laughs> Oh, I see you, man. Fuck it, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? Fuck it, man. But yeah, man. Uh, <clears throat> oh, before I get into that, man, the way of the world, man. And this would even prop this one. I've been coming to give you the story. This was the first one I was going to come give you and introduce Baby Cuz Black History Month, man. You get what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> you know, somebody going to say, man, you ignorant as a motherfucker, but man, fuck y'all. I do my thing the way I do my thing. You know what I'm talking about? You do your thing the way you do your thing. Leads me to these comments, man. So I just made it short or whatever, man. You get what I'm saying? And everybody laughing. They get the gist of what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? Everybody else laughing or whatever, man. Once again, I don't give a fuck. <coughs> but I just want to show y'all how y'all is. Now, you see everybody else laughing. Of course, there's one, uh, there's one motherfucker on here from a motherfucking ghost page. I, I just show you. That's how I know you a sucker. You know what I'm talking about? You say, how you know you're a sucker, bro? I ain't scared to show my face. Everywhere I go and I comment, I ain't got no other pages, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I don't play them games, bro. I'm coming as me, nigga. If I got to say something, you going to know I said it. You know what I'm talking about? I don't do that hide behind invisible people shit. You know what I'm talking about? And say what I really want to say. That that lets me know you scared to say whatever you got to say to me from whoever you is. Whether you could call me on the phone or whatever, bro. I know you scared. You know what I'm talking about? That just let me see you checked yourself. That's what the, that's how I see that. You didn't check yourself because you hide behind somebody else. That means you worried about me knowing who you is for real. You know what I'm talking about? You must have got the memo. You know what I'm talking about? Nephew says old man who lady. Hey. Nephew says old man who lady. Hey, what you say, bro? Lady. Hey. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, uh, one of these old square ass people that jumped in my comments. Because my video, uh, if you ain't seen it, go see my short, man. I got a few of them today. One called Alicia Keys, and the other one is called Us. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? So some square-ass nigga jumped in my comments and said, Yeah, OG. What did this nigga say? He said something like, uh, and you had to come make a video about it. Uh, tighten up, OG. And I, just like y'all don't be understanding what y'all talk about, so I had to remind this square-ass nigga, no. I made a video about niggas acting like bitches. <laughs> That's what I made a video about. My video wasn't about Usher. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? My video was about niggas acting like bitches. 
But that's the uh, the flim flam smoke and mirrors they'll come do on you. They'll try to <clears throat> change your narrative. You know what I'm talking about? But I welcome it. Come on. You get what I'm saying? Oh, I welcome it. Come on. But that's just what I'm talking about. Niggas acting like bitches. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Because everybody else laugh. And you ain't even have to laugh. I ain't even tripping off that. But how you came at me, that's just how niggas is now. You know what I'm talking about? You got rebuttal just like a, a bitch. So you got to come back everything that's being said. Furthermore, when I said that, you must be one of them niggas talking about that nigga. You get what I'm saying? Because only what they say, the, uh, the hurt dog barks or whatever, screams or whatever, bro. You ain't even have to say nothing. But just like one of these females and these bitch ass, the rest of these bitch ass niggas out here, bruh, you got defensive like the bitch. So you felt you had to say something, nigga. Oh, baby cuz don't even know you. I probably do. You probably want these old hoe ass niggas hiding behind other people. But that hurt your feelings. You felt that. You know what I'm talking about? You had to respond to that. So you had to make me some kind of way fuck. Oh, you talking about it too? No, once again, I was talking about niggas acting like bitches. I ain't got nothing to say about, about them people, man. Just let me know you one of them. You one of them hybrid niggas, ain't you? You niggas hella funny. You niggas hiding, but uh, turn you niggas scared of the computer. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You niggas turn yourself to somebody else on the computer to go talk shit. I know you scared for real. Ho ass nigga. Now, uh, Black History Month, man. We gonna get into it. I don't know what this one is, man. This might just be called Salute to the Grinders, man. You say, bro, what is you talking about? See, nowadays, y'all play on the computers and shit. I come from the days where you go to house party, Scandi, and shit like that, Malibu, and you know what I'm talking about, the castle and all that shit like there, man. Sack Fair, the uh, Pleasanton Fair. I told y'all about the extravaganza we had at the Pleasanton Fair. You know what I'm talking about? When my nigga Bo Lacey backed up on the motherfucking freeway, that nigga was in reverse, nigga, for damn near two miles. <laughs> nigga, that nigga came from way that way, nigga, in reverse. And pulled up the emergency brake, bro. We used to fuck with it like none other. You get what I'm saying? And that's all that's about, man. Because on this Black History Month, y'all and uh, I ain't gonna really say y'all y'all changed history, even though y'all did. But uh, the real just changed history or whatever. But like, uh, I just want to shout out some niggas that never got their credit, man. You know what I'm talking about? You say, what you mean you got uh, never got their credit, baby? Cause oh yeah, I'm finna tell you. Cause I grew up in that crack era, right? And I'm going to tell you something about that crack era and motherfuckers we grew up with, bro. I watched a whole motherfucking generation take their motherfucking chance. Now, a lot of people lost. A few of them won, but a lot of people lost. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of people lost their life and a lot of people lost their freedom to that motherfucking crack era I'm talking about, right? But I'm going to tell you why I want to uh, salute the grinders, man. Because I watched niggas take a risk for their family. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> Now, I'm sure there was other shit you could do out there, but you got to also remember this back when minimum wage down there on, no, maybe $5, $4.75, nigga, you'll be lucky to get $6. That was high back then, you get what I'm saying? So you had to do that, bro, and hope you get 40 hours a week, you get what I'm saying? So that just wasn't going to cut it, it wasn't. Even now, a lot of niggas might not even try to do nothing else, because I didn't, you know what I mean? I don't know what another nigga tried to do, though. I just know I didn't try to go get no job or nothing like that. I wasn't trying to give myself excuses or nothing. I just knew that I was going to, at that time, make as much money as I could make. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I had decided to do, just like a lot of other fellas. Because they realized... I mean, motherfuckers was running around wild back then. But that was more... When I came up, it was like... You was rocking with your baby mama or something. You get what I'm saying? You was rocking with whatever bitch you was fucking with. <laughs> So even though motherfuckers always been running around, giving it up and all that shit, it was kind of, I don't want to say no family structure, but it was just like you and your people and y'all was rocking. You get what I'm saying? It was like you and your people and y'all was rocking. But I seen like hella motherfuckers had babies young, not young, like in your early 20s or something. And uh, I watched a whole generation of niggas take their chance, bruh. You get what I'm saying? I watched a whole generation of niggas take their chance. And hell of us didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was getting knocked and shit and everything was fucked up. Because you see how they be passing y'all bad game now? 
I'm going to tell you how the OGs before us passed us down bad game. <clears throat> they told you to go grind and do all that shit and invest in your bitch. That's why I don't be wanting to hear these bitches now. You know what I'm talking about? See, I've seen a different part of the world. I watch a whole generation of niggas grinding, getting their motherfucking money on, sending these bitches to college, sending these... <clears throat> And once again, I'm not no nigga in the war on the bitches and the niggas. But y'all don't even understand, you know what I'm talking about? I seen the different. I seen niggas trying to work with they uh <clears throat> work with they bitch and invest in they bitch. And a lot of times, not all the times, like I said, a few made it. But a lot of times, cause niggas was getting jokes, you feel what I'm saying? And you've been a uh a lot of people was building bitches up to just the bitches leave. You know what I'm talking about? As soon as a nigga get knocked. Now, maybe not as soon as a nigga get knocked, but a nigga that invested in all this bitch. He done sent this bitch to cosmetology school. He done got this bitch to shop and all that. Then a nigga go to jail and the bitch, uh, they hit the ejection button. Once again, that wasn't everybody's situation. You know what I'm talking about? Some people kept it solid. So, But a lot, it was more people who hit the injection button than it was motherfuckers who kept it solid. You know what I'm talking about? It wouldn't even even. But at the same time, motherfuckers did keep it solid. So it ain't like I'm up here complaining about, oh, nigga, the bitches left and all. I just don't be wanting to hear that shit one way or the other. The niggas are the bitches. Because I also remember when the bitches used to fuck with niggas in jail. Like, you could really knock a bitch from jail. Like, them was the days, nigga, you would be in jail or something. And your bitch would have hella partners. You could hook a bitch up with a motherfucker in jail, one of your partners. Uh, when you got to the pen, sending this motherfucker, you ain't even know a vision in form. You know what I'm talking about? And if they clear, they coming up here to see you. That's back in the day, and I seen niggas wearing them out with that jail talk shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you actually used to could knock a bitch in jail. It was hella easy. You know what I'm talking about? It was like bitches didn't even want to fuck with niggas on the street. I ain't bullshitting with you. It was like every bitch wanted a nigga in jail. And yo, bitch, you a bitch, Santa Rita, nigga. Oh, my mama, shout out Yada. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> My nigga Yada came to see me when I was in Rita, bro. I think, I think that's the only nigga, bro, that ever came to see me in jail, bro. I ain't bullshitting with you. Shout out Yada. Yeah. Because me and Yada was in there together. You know what I'm talking about? That nigga had, uh, <clears throat> he told me, but you know how you be thinking niggas bullshit. Like, nigga, ain't nobody finna come back up to jail <laughs> once they get up out this motherfucker. About a week later, man, that nigga Yada was up there. And that nigga put $20 on my books, man. Shout out Yada. On some real shit. That's what I'm talking about. I came from that era. You know what I'm talking about? I came from that era right there, bro. You'll be up in there with the whole turf. You'll get there in the turf that, uh, like, two other niggas have been and went to the hall and shit. You know what I'm talking about? I got there, man. They was telling me about AF and T1. <laughs> How they just cram somebody up over there in the corner. <laughs> I'm telling you, back in jail, bro. Back in them days, bro. Uh, not if one of your other uh, fellas will be up in there, bro. You'll get to a pod, ain't no telling what these niggas in there, bro. You get there just because you a bandit, nigga. You on high <laughs> God damn. That shit, bro, I tell you. If you only knew. <clears throat> but that generation right there, black history, you know what I'm talking about with the baby cuz. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Who would you say, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? But I, it just wasn't us, bro. I watch a whole generation. I'm talking about everybody. That was my age, bro. Take a risk. And I made this video right here on my Black History Month because them niggas right there don't get enough credit. Now, everybody made their own decision. I ain't talking about that. But them niggas really sacrificed it, bro. They made it a conscious decision, like, fuck that, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I don't want my people to be like me. And niggas went out there and got a bankroll, bro. You feel me? On some real shit. And a lot of niggas was gone for a while, bro. And them niggas came home to, uh, to this shit right here, bro. Motherfuckers calling that generation right there pookies and ray rays because they stayed in jail and shit. So now all of a sudden, that, that makes them less than a person. But they have more heart than all these old soft-ass motherfuckers running around here right now, man. You know what I'm talking about? They did. They had more heart, bro. They was ready to risk it all. You know what I'm talking about? For their motherfucking family. Point, period, blank, bro. Some motherfuckers was up in there, nigga, taking care of grandma and mama and them, bro. Just taking care of everybody, bro. You having dope money, bro. So was you. Like, nigga, you, nigga, you was the provider for everything, bro. You was the plug. You get what I'm saying? I ain't talking about plug in the motherfucker. I'm talking about the socket, nigga, that you plug up into, nigga. 
that was you. You was the light, bro. Wasn't nobody else doing nothing. You get what I'm saying? That was kind of like everybody was in the, uh, just like how y'all is in this computer today. Everybody was like that, but it was drugs. You get what I'm saying? But it was the same result. Everybody was lost as a motherfucker, folks. And you just got to imagine if you wasn't a strong motherfucker. <clears throat> You had to imagine what that shit did to your psyche. That wasn't no invisible shit, bruh. So you really watching people in real life, nigga, walk around like zombies. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't no invisible shit. It wasn't no shit that you didn't have to look at because you don't have to look at your phone, bruh. It was shit that uh, you was forced to see, folks. And that's what I'm saying. That's why this one right here is shout out to the grinders, man. S salute. To nah, shout out. Nigga, fuck that salute shit. That shit came up off this computer. Shout out to the grinders, man. On some real shit. Because you just, <clears throat> you wouldn't imagine it because y'all soft nowadays. Y'all sit around and play video games and just soft shit all day. Y'all, you know what I'm talking about? Y'all be wanting to stay in the house. I came from the days where nigga uh, motherfucking do anything, nigga, to stay outside. You went up in the house all day in the invisible world, bro. You was really out there, you know what I'm talking about? Stealing bikes, might get your bike stole. You was just out there, nigga, uh, adapting to the things in life. That's why a lot of niggas from my era, bro, they know how to do everything for themselves. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> Once that's in their right mind, they know how to do everything for themselves, bro. You know what I'm talking about? You niggas don't even know, like, if it came down to where... You just had to cook some dope. It wasn't no more of this easy shit. It wasn't no more scamming and shit. Like my nigga Jay Stalin say, you niggas know how to bip. But I bet you niggas can't rock up a zip. You know what I'm talking about? You can't. Y'all really ain't got no real survival skills. And one of you old square ass motherfucker, how oh, is that a survival skill? You'll see one day. Don't know how to do that shit. <laughs> Don't know how to do that shit and watch what happens to you. You're going to have to know something, bro, that you can just get off the ground with. At that moment, if it ever gets that crucial, you do. But like nowadays, y'all scared to take a risk. Not only is y'all scared to take a risk, y'all telling on people for taking theirs. Nigga soft. But I came from a generation, about a, a whole generation, bro. They don't even get no respect no more. They don't. Just like that, that's the forgotten generation right there, bro. There's so many other motherfuckers that's, that's good that they ran off of motherfuckers' money when they was in jail, bro. There's hell of motherfuckers that's just <clears throat> good off other people's money right now. You feel me? But they played them niggas. They didn't do nothing but play them niggas like they was dead, be dads. And, you know what I'm saying? They ain't do nothing but play them niggas. And today, right now, they getting called Pookies and Ray Rays. The generation of niggas that really, you know what I'm talking about? Kept the shit together. Because everybody else was out here fucked up. And y'all don't even understand. Like you wouldn't even never understand that pressure, bruh. Having to keep your mind right while you just is like this shit now. But this shit is invisible. That shit was in the real world. You get what I'm saying? So you had to walk around and just see people zombie like. You know what I'm talking about? You had to take care of everybody. And that shit just, uh... Man, that shit, you had to be tough to go through that shit, bruh. That shit, this generation right now, if they had to see that shit, bruh, them niggas would, nah, they would have been tough because they would have had to adapt to the what. But they'll be different than they is right now, bruh. Because that shit right there was a mental stress, everything, bruh. You kids just seeing hella shit you probably ain't supposed to see. You get what I'm saying? That's why you hear hella motherfuckers now, like they play the victims, hella motherfuckers try to use that shit for the reason. Man, that ain't it. That ain't it at all. You notice people only come up with excuses when they the ones that might be off. That's not in the right, uh, you know what I'm talking about? The one that might be part of bullshit. You notice people never come up with excuses when it's good. Or when they do something that's noble. They never come up with an excuse for that. It's only when uh, other people think they fucked up. Then they got an excuse. You can't, like I said, bro, you can't blame your mom and your dad. You can't blame nobody for nothing, bro. You in control of you. Some real shit. You in control of you. It ain't nobody else's fault, bro. It ain't. But this one right here gonna be shout out to the grinders, man. I told you, I uh, I 
I segue a little bit, but in the end, it all ties in. I want to shout out that generation right there, man, because that's the forgotten generation. You know what I'm talking about? That's the generation right there that really don't get no respect no more. They look at them niggas like they were stupid because they were selling dope and all that shit, but they didn't even understand, like, dope was the equivalent to this shit it is now. You know what I'm talking about? But you didn't have to wait to get monetized, nigga. You could come up with a, a high five dollars and buy a 10 piece. You could monetize yourself with just a small fee. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Go get some double up or somewhere and work them. I told you my nigga Cardell Jr., you know what I'm talking about? Shout out R.I.P. My nigga had the coldest gang in the uh in the, in the land. That nigga will wait till a knock come. The knock come, this nigga say, hold on, let me go get my bundle. The knock will come with 50 or something. This nigga will go up there and get plugged from Lacey. He a nigga run all the way to Lacey real quick. Then come back. The knock gonna stay there because he really went there and did this nigga just run off with his 50. You know what I'm talking about? Because we was good in the hood for that one right there too. Don't be broken and not come through with a hundred. Yeah, let me go get my bundle. Bye bye. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, <laughs> bye bye. You know what I'm talking about? The knock ass was out. Really, is certain motherfuckers was around and they didn't have no money. Y'all shit it was good as theirs. You know what I'm talking about? On some real shit. But uh, he'll run up there to Lacey, nigga. Go get some plug, bro. Come back, get him, knock his five rocks. Might give him six. You know what I'm talking about? He got four free rocks. It's time to bubble. You know what I'm talking about? Take that 40, 80, and you can do that shit just all day. You get what I'm saying? That was some cold game if he was broke. I'm telling you. But like I say, on this Black History Month, them niggas right there get overlooked. Because them, them niggas right now, they call it dead, beat, dash, pookie. Because they tell you when you go to the penitentiary or you go to jail and shit, that ain't nothing. But see, with a square motherfucker don't understand, probably because they just had a different life. But what a square motherfucker don't understand is, a lot of times people doing that shit, they taking a risk for other shit, bruh. This ain't the movies, this ain't them videos you be looking at and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like everybody walking around with duffel bags making exchanges. I told you, I grind for hella long, nigga. I ain't never, and I mean, I ain't never did, nigga. And I done bought a key before, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Not keys, a key. I done bought a key before. Hella half keys, nine zips. I was a professional at nine zips. Sell all that shit in three days. You know what I'm talking about? Please, bro. I sell nine zips in three days, bro. Y'all wasn't playing out there. I told you, I'm the one that had the East Bay rolling. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, bro? Please, folks. On some real shit, nigga. On some real shit. And I ain't never did uh, business with no duffel bag. I ain't never seen nobody with no Louis uh, duffel bag. Somebody gonna say, bro, you wouldn't buy keys and be I don't give a fuck, bro. The key I bought, bro, niggas was doing business with uh, sandwich baggies and brown paper bags and shit up out of here. 7 Eleven or Hero somewhere, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? He's my mom, bro. Ain't nobody ever came up there and threw no duffel bag and I exchanged duffel bag with the money. Please, bro. I was coming up there, nigga, with a uh, hella 20s, nigga, hella 1s, nigga, you know what I'm talking about? $5 bills and shit. I ain't just never exchanged no when I was selling dope, you know what I'm talking about? I ain't never just came with no briefcase full of money and all that shit. Nah, bro. I didn't. I had that shit in diaper bags and shit in my sock, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? On the side of that motherfucker, old man gang. Old sock bulging out the side, nigga, like you got on them, uh, it was further than motherfucking house, uh, house arrest bracelets. You know what I'm talking about? Cause I nigga, that was the only time a motherfucker uh, came out with money. Nigga wasn't just walking around money on him. He didn't do that. Not the money it took to buy the dope, but I ain't never put no motherfucking money in no briefcase. I ain't never exchanged. <clears throat> when I went to my plug, man, them people handed me a brown paper bag with nine zips in that motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? All Potter. <laughs> I just gave them their money in hella rubber bands, hella 20s and shit. They knew it was all there because bro always had good character. And if it was off of something, man, you just make that trip. You make it right next time, man. It wasn't small business. It was real big. You know what I'm talking about? It wasn't sweating on the little shit. You didn't think a motherfucker was trying to get over on you or something if it might only been eight in there. Because they made that mistake one time. Then they when they give you when they give you a, a zip and a half. You know what I'm talking about? For the inconvenience. Because to keep it real, them people was hot as fish grease. <laughs> they was. Them people was out as fish grease. They was up under investigation by the feds. So just imagine, nigga had to ride up there to the plug when they under investigation about the feds, bro, to get to that money, folks. That's why I shout out to the motherfucking grinders, folks. Like, y'all don't understand that shit because you square. And you wouldn't even take that chance for y'all family. Y'all be talking all that shit and 
this and that and fuck that. They got you thinking that you're going to get a motherfucking job. Is uh Now, nothing is wrong with a job, once again, bro. But that shit ain't going to get you nowhere, folks. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever seen somebody make 100000 hundred thousand a year? And at the end of the year, they ain't even got 10000 That shit damn near mind gang with you, bro. But this is what they ain't putting your uh, motherfucker here. They ain't told you to be safe. Play it safe. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, you might be able to do that to get where you're going, but just in my life, uh, I had to take a chance for risk, bro, to get some of this shit I want. I ain't gonna lie to you. Just like the generation of them niggas did. Y'all be sitting up here teasing nigga, even though that's the uh, that's the motherfucking path uh, God had for them. You gotta go through your own trials and tribulations to get your own understanding, folks, but we don't do that now. We just sit up here on these phones and these computers and sit in front of these TVs all day. Listen to another motherfucker tell us something. You ain't got to listen to me. I, I ain't even got one of them channels really trying to tell you nothing. I just be throwing this shit up in the air, bruh. You could let it go. You feel me? I just be throwing this shit up in the air, folks. I do. Because I know we lost. I ain't going to lie to you. I know we lost. Nigga, I was just up in the motherfucking, uh, in the motherfucking casino. And the nigga had hit big. Now, another nigga way over there in front of the machines tells this nigga, man, you ain't going to give that man no money. You just here for all that money. The other nigga just looked at that nigga and kept walking, right? The other nigga that's at the machine keep talking. He was like, oh, man, y'all don't know how to treat the people no more. You done won all that money. Can't even get a man $20. That's the world we done got into, bro. Why is you even all over there watching that nigga collect his loaf? Why is that your business? You know, if that nigga would have turned around and knocked you on top of your head, he had every right. But these is the days we living in, bro, where a nigga, you don't know this nigga from Adam. And he just feel like he could tell you something. You don't know what kind of bills that man got. You don't know if that man owe the mafia. You don't know what's going on in that nigga life. But you just done jumped in this man's business because you seen him get paid loaf talking about, oh, man, pass it out. When you hit, you're supposed to... That's your ideology, bro. That ain't that. You don't know that nigga. You don't know what his ideology is. And that's where we go wrong. Because we think everybody live by the shit we believe in. You get what I'm saying? Just like this shit right here. What I'm talking about. Shout out to the grinders. Now, niggas look back at niggas really sacrificing and giving up their struggle. Really had nuts, nigga, to rest it all about what they believe in, bro. And them niggas get called dead, be dash. You went to jail. And like that just make you something. Because you niggas running around here square. And you would tell on your mama not to go to the motherfucking county jail, nigga. That's the difference. I grew up where niggas had nuts. Not saying they ain't got them now, bruh. But, uh... <clears throat> there's more niggas who don't got nuts than it is niggas who do. I can tell you that. Because y'all think just that running around, killing, and all that shit got to do with something, man. Now, just think about this. You running around doing all that shooting, killing people. Now, just imagine... If, say, you do get caught, now you got to go up in there with them people, family members and shit there, bruh. And you just used to running around here shooting people. You know how many niggas I seen like that in jail, bruh? And they were scared to defend themselves about killing all these people on the street. Then they get up in there, nigga, and they scared. Them guns don't do you no good, bruh. Not up in there. You might grab you one of them uh something else. You know what I'm talking about? The equivalent to a gun up in there. But even with that, what you don't get, bro, when you scared, that's what you going that's what you're gonna manifest. When you scared to death, bro, you you could you could play that shit if a nigga get backed up in the corner. Don't back a nigga up in the corner. Now that right there, cause a scared nigga will get on you hella quick. <clears throat> but that kind of scary nigga, as soon as he feel like he finna go in danger, he finna just go wild. He ain't gonna wait around and all that shit. When you do that, motherfuckers pressing you and you just waiting around trying to explain yourself and shit, you finna get fucked off. You ain't finna do nothing even if you had a knife. Because you just scared, bruh. You niggas be scared of the trouble you gonna get in even if it's to defend yourself. You would think if a nigga done pulled the gun on you and you got your thumper, you would think you don't wanna pull. I've been around motherfuckers like this, bruh. You in the middle of a gunfight, bruh. You don't wanna pull your hammer because you don't want to go to jail. You'd rather get killed than not go to jail, bro. I don't know. 
But that's how y'all think now, bro. Y'all think about what's gonna happen if you do something. You know what I'm talking about? When something finna get done to you, you sitting around because this is what they done told you, all them conversations. Turn the other cheek and all that shit, man. Please. Believe that shit if you want to. Yeah, believe that shit if you want to. Y'all be living in a fantasy world. Life don't happen like that, bro. That's what I'm saying. Y'all be running around here with all that alpha beta bullshit, old female ass conversation there and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Supreme being face having ass nigga, you know what I'm talking about? We are the king, the true people and all that shit, bro. I mean, all that shit sound good and it's cool. You know what I'm talking about? If you believe in that, bro, once again, it's cool. But you got to realize you believe in that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Everybody else might not share the same thing. Just like I know y'all don't share the same thing about what the fuck I be talking about. I don't expect you to. I don't look for you to agree with me. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to say brush them whiskers. I'm putting it out there for whoever need it, folks. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I come like I come. I'm trying to give you some inspiration and motivation. If you don't want to stop the shit that all the bitch shit, you don't have to. You can continue acting like the bitch and all that shit, folks. You can. You get what I'm saying? Just don't cry about the consequences because that's what we do now. See, I came from a generation of niggas that didn't really do that. They just went to jail, bro. Some motherfuckers told, but you know how that shit go. The solid outweighed the 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 that that weak shit. You get what I'm saying? But now the the scales then tip the other way. The weak shit outweigh the uh, solid shit. And the cold part about it, you niggas talking about some of that. Them people y'all talking about the that's your mama and your daddy, <clears throat> and you just sitting up here agreeing with people. It ain't for you to understand nobody else's struggle, bruh. But understand everybody got their own struggle. It ain't for you to agree with. It ain't about what you would do or what you wouldn't do, bruh. You got your own turn to do that. But what do I know? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I was finna end it right there, but I'm not. Because I just want to shout out the grinders, folks. I came up in that generation. I know what it was about, folks. I do. I know what it was about. And I know all this old weird shit going on now. Niggas, they gonna call you a deadbeat dad, bro. You know how many people that changed their life, folks? You know how many people that was off that stuff, bro, ain't on that shit no more? You know how many motherfuckers came from up under that shit, bro? That's strong people. So when y'all be running around here calling niggas deadbeat dad, I don't know one, bro. That's why I don't get that shit. And I came from that era when niggas was going to jail and sell dope. Nigga, all my partners is get daddies, bro. You get what I'm saying? I don't know no deadbeat daddies and shit, bro. That shit don't mean nothing. They, they screw your perception with that shit. Oh, he ain't. Nigga, every one of my niggas that got kids, bro, is an excellent father. You know what I'm talking about? I told you I got a nigga named Time, bro. Y'all y'all can't fuck with him. Hands down. Hands down, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Yada. Bobo just, you know what I'm talking about? You going down the line, bro. You can. So I come from that generation. The one they be trying to put that old smut campaign on in these days and shit. Like a nigga, which y'all call him Pookie and Ray Ray's. Like a nigga automatically got to be a bad person because he went to jail, bro. Y'all be all over the place. But I'm going to shout out the grinders, bro, because I know how hard that shit was. And them niggas don't get no credit. They get called all kind of shit now. You got the little babies want to tease them about that shit and shit. Oh, nigga, if you wouldn't have went to jail. That's what they was talking about. Oh, man, you a criminal. You a crook. They, these white people got y'all against y'all own people, man. But yeah, that's my black history lesson, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I want to shout out the grinders. Niggas that was uh, had nuts enough to take that risk. Fuck what y'all think about it. You know what I'm talking about? You niggas gonna be scary in the box for the rest of y'all life, folks. While y'all be sitting around here teasing and pointing the finger at everybody else, you gonna be a scary ass, soft ass, in your feelings ass niggas for the rest of y'all life if you don't change, folks. Because you walking around every time you hear something, niggas for you to listen, bro. But y'all don't do that shit. Y'all sit around and just listen to what the world tell you to do, what the world tell you to believe, and all this all other fake shit. I didn't come from that era. I came from an era where nigga had nuts, bro. They was willing to take that risk to take care of grandma and them, them kids. You know what I'm talking about? They people. They uh, they girl, bro. You know what I'm talking about? The whole family. 
You know what I'm talking about? Little nephew and them. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. You know what I'm talking about? Niggas really did that, bruh. That's what niggas did. Niggas wasn't sitting around listening to other motherfuckers what's right, what's wrong, or somebody else motherfucking uh, ideology. Because uh, as black people, y'all crazy with that shit. Y'all is, bruh. Y'all would rather work for somebody for the rest of y'all life. You would. And they got you thinking that's some form of success. Slaving. That's crazy. It is, man. I came up from a, a, a generation of nigga didn't have no job, bruh. Fuck that job. Niggas was getting that shit up out the ground, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? For real, for real, bruh. That's what you call getting it up out the ground, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas wasn't sitting around this motherfucker waiting on the opportunity, bruh. That whole generation, nigga, took their destiny in their own hands. Some of them made it. A lot of them didn't, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? But they was willing to take that risk and not complain about it, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out the grinders, man. What do I know? Only you could prevent forest fires, man. And with that one right there, if you don't remember nothing else, always remember. You know what I'm talking about? Always remember, man, it don't cost nothing, bruh. Just to show a little bit of that love, man. You know what I'm talking about? Black History Month.